Hello everyone, this is Puka, and welcome to another edition of Bad Deck Monday, where today we're going to be taking two pretty fun cards, some not so commonly seen, unusual cards, and we're going to see if we can make them work. So, this deck is going to focus around two of the new Pokemon from the set XY, Furious Fists. The first one is going to be Magmortar. So he has two attacks. The first one we're not too concerned with. If you want to know, it does 30 for one energy. Searches for a fire energy and attaches it to itself. Uh, it's actually a pretty decent attack, but since he only has 120 HP, normally putting him out there to do that gets him knocked out. So we don't want to do that very often. However, we're going to look at the second attack here, Twin Bursts. So this does 80 and if Electivire is on your bench, it does 80 more damage. All right, now we got something to work with. So if you do a little math with me here, with Electivire on your bench, you are now doing 160 damage. All right, now that falls short of knocking out those big Pokemon EX. So we're going to run three Muscle Band as well. Sounds good, right? 160 plus 20 is 180 damage, and that will knock out pretty much every Pokemon EX. Outside of those pesky Mega Evolutions, but we aren't too concerned about those. Alright, so, the idea here, get Electivire on your bench, power up Mag Mortar, and use Twin Bursts. So of course, we do have to run a line of Electivire as well. I'm running a pretty small line, 2-2 two, two Electivire, since we do only need to really get one into play. Uh, maybe we should run a third Electabuzz, or a 3-3 three, three line, since if our opponent does target down Electivire, our entire deck falls apart, but hey... Uh, it's Bad Deck Monday, so let's take a little bit of a risk. Only a 2-2 line. Electivire, not especially promising. It does have Tag Team Spark, 20 plus 20 for each energy attached to your Mag Mortar. In general, this is going to be much worse than simply using Twin Burst. So we won't be attacking with Electivire very often, but maybe if we hit for weakness, say, uh, against an Evil Tall EX, that could be one way to take advantage of Electivire. And send our opponent straight to the hospital as an ambulance goes driving by my house. Um, man, that is bad timing. It always seems to happen during my videos. Okay, anyway, uh, so Electivire and Mag Mortar, those are our two Pokemon. Now, you may notice Twin Burst costs four energy, so it's pretty difficult to power up. Because of that, we're going to be running three of these beautiful Blacksmith cards. Nice energy acceleration gets two additional fire energy from the discard to one of your fire Pokemon. Double Carlos allows us to fulfill the other two energy. So there we go. Four energy. We can do that in an instant in just one turn with Blacksmith and DCE. Power up Twin Bursts. Okay. So there you have it. Those are the two main Pokemon. Of course, we always have some supporting cast as well. Uh, one of our big supporters is going to be Electrode. Since we are using Blacksmith as the supporter for the turn pretty frequently, Magnetic Draw allows us to draw until we have four cards. So it just works really well with Blacksmith. Still being able to draw cards while also playing Blacksmith as your supporter, when normally you would like to draw cards instead with, you know, Professor Juniper or N or Colrus. Um, but Electrode allows us to fill in the blanks there with a couple draw, or drawing a couple cards for the turn. It works out pretty well. We also have Jirachi EX, Stellar Guidance, allows us to search out a supporter. So it allows us to search for that Blacksmith, most importantly. It's just a nice support Pokemon to have. And you know what, we don't really care about the two prize give up, because if they're not dealing with Magmortar, boy, they're probably getting destroyed by Twin Bursts. So Jirachi, perfect fit for this kind of a deck. Now, since we are running pretty fragile Pokemon, we do have some... Big, beefy Pokemon EX in here as well. Got a Charizard, since he works well with the Blacksmith. And a Mewtwo, because he's Mewtwo. And we're running DCE, so X-Ball works out pretty well. Alright. So, we're pr pretty much revolving the deck around Blacksmith. You know, with the Electros, the Jirachi. Uh, we're also revolving it around Blacksmith with Fiery Torch. Discard a Fire Energy, draw two cards. Item-based draw card. There you go. An easy way to get the fire in the discard so that we can use the blacksmith. Pretty cool. Pretty straightforward. Also have four Ultra Ball to be discarding fire energy very quickly. Searching for a Pokemon. Pretty good. We don't have level ball anymore, so we can't really search for the little guys as easily. 
but in replacement, we're going to use Evo Soda to give an extra weight to search out your evolutions. So we do run three different evolutions in the deck. Evo Soda seems like a pretty solid card to play in here. We have Computer Search as well as the Ace Spec card, another great item-based searching card to just get our Pokemon up and running as quickly as possible. Just the most consistent Ace Spec card, I believe. And we do have one Lysander to pick something off of our opponent's bench if need be. One Professor's Letter to search out two energy at a time. It's going to be very good with Fiery Torch. Two Switch, just because we probably need to switch sometimes. Got some hefty retreat costs in here. And then one Pal Pad, which I feel like is pretty good with Blacksmith, right? We can just shuffle them back in, reuse them. Or if you want to reuse Lysander or any of your other supporters, Pal Pad's actually pretty cool in here. Our energy, we have four DCE, eight fire, and one lightning energy, just in case we want to use Tag Team Spark. Or if we want to go crazy, we can use Electro Ball, but I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, so this is our Magmortar Electivire deck, and we'll see if we can get some fun games with this one. So, went ahead and played some games on Pokemon TCG Online, and here is a beautiful one I have for you right here. So, I'm going to start off with that Magmar. Not a bad hand at all. Got an Ultra Ball ready to go. Discarding a Fire Energy if we want. Uh, we got an Ant I could play, a Juniper, all sorts of stuff. We're going up against a Halucha. So, this is probably some kind of fighting deck. We'll have to see what else is in store. And going to start off with an N. And, uh oh, this hand does not look very good at all. Uh, let's see what we get, though. Nope, still doesn't look very good at all. <laughs> uh, so I can Ultra Ball here, and I could discard two fire. Um, fortunately, I do run Jirachi EX, so there's that. So I'm going to opt to get an attachment still, discard the other Ultra Ball, and immediately regret my decision as Jirachi is prized. Why, Jirachi? Why must you do this? <sighs> when you need him the most, he's just hes just not there. It's so painful. Uh, if I had kept the other Ultra Ball, perhaps could have held that Fire Energy and the next turn Ultra Balled. Uh, well, actually, yeah. Um, I would have I would have been able to Ultra Ball for Electrode, long story short. But my opponent politely plays an N for me, so I get six fresh cards. Looks like life is looking good right now. We got the double mag mortar now. This is a pretty good turn, too. Uh, Mewtwo did X-Ball me. I even got a private trade offer. That was not a very good trade offer, let me tell you that much. Uh, but this is actually looking a little better. We're going to go ahead and attach the second fire energy to the benched mag mortar, since the active one pretty much guaranteed to go down. Going to throw down the Charizard just in case. We can always open up an option for... A blacksmith. If uh, my bench mag mortar somehow gets knocked out, I do have the DC and the muscle band. So if we draw a blacksmith, could power up Charizard for a combustion blast, or he's just a big body to throw out there. There we do see a Lysander. Go figure. So looks like mag mortar's probably going to get knocked out. Lucario EX coming down. Uh, if my opponent has an energy and a muscle band, or a DCE and X-Ball will be a knockout, but no, just an attachment to the benched Lucario, and that means we can DCE on the active Mag Mortar, muscle band, and check it out, twin bursts, <laughs> 180 damage, take that Mewtwo, uh, you know, even if I don't get another knockout this game, I feel like we have accomplished something. We actually used Twin Bursts for a knockout. Uh, oh, what in the world? My opponent actually has nothing, though. And has to pass the turn. Oh, baby, this is a huge opening for Team Meg Mortar. We're going to Lysander out that Lucario EX. Going to go ahead and pal pad that baby back in. Uh, I do have to take both supporters, unfortunately. So we'll shuffle the end back in as well. And Twin Burst! If your opponent doesn't deal with Mag Mortar, he is going to wreck you turn by turn, doing 180 damage. That is pretty hefty. Um, I did not expect this to happen. This was supposed to be a fun deck that hardly ever sets up. But now, look at where we are. Top deck and a Juniper, finally. So we'll get some more stuff into play. 
Got another Electivire. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop that Fire Energy down and Twin Burst for 180 more damage. This is ridiculous what is happening. We got another Mag Mortar waiting in the wings as well. Just needs another Fire Energy if the active one gets knocked out. But it looks like my opponent just left with a Trubbish. And is Mag Mortar really going to win? And he says, not lucky today. I say, sorry. And I can't believe what is happening here. Twin bursts. One Mag Mortar clears the board. Thanks for joining us, Jirachi. Uh, so that is silly that that just happened. Um, so I'm actually going to play another game here. Um, it, it took like four minutes to take all six prizes. That was a very quick twin burst. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this game goes. Uh-oh, uh we see a mulligan, and that is a lot of water energy and plasma stuff. So I'm thinking this is probably a plasma curum deck, which does not bode well for... Mr. Magmortar, who is weak to water. However, my opponent did mulligan like five times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. We get seven extra cards to begin the game. And uh, I think that's a good way to equalize the, the type disadvantage. <laughs> All right. So, got the Fiery Torch going down on the Fire Energy, of course. Duh. Alright, and I'm actually going to use this turn to Blacksmith, get an extra energy into play. So the next turn, we can lay down our entire hand, basically. Electrode, Electivire, Magmortar, uh, Ultra Ball for another Magmortar. We can Twin Burst, and it will be a beautiful, beautiful first or second turn. We could pull off the turn to Twin Burst. I can't believe, well, I guess that's what Seven Mulligans does for you. You basically draw two opening hands at the same time. So, hey, if that's going to happen, we're going to have a good chance. But, oh, no, an N. That's not cool. Now my hand is, um, oh, my hand is just as good, if not better. <laughs> How did that happen? So we have an Electivire, Electrode, uh, Fire Energy, and a Computer Search. So I should be able to pull off the big twin burst. We do see muscle band from my opponent, though, and a computer search. A coerce machine, so we're going to see a turn one frost spear for 100 on two poor magmar. So that's not, not good at all. But, um, like I said, we'll have a twin burst ready to go. My opponent intelligently targeting down Electabuzz, because if Electivire gets knocked out, twin burst doesn't do as much damage. So pretty smart by my opponent. I'm going to go with the Fiery Torch, just draw a couple extra cards there. Maybe set up another Blacksmith if we can manage that. Um, got Electrode, got Electivire, got a Computer Search. Don't think I'll be needing Muscle Band because Twin Burst knocks out Kyurem in one hit. And it looks like it's just kind of a quad Kyurem deck. I don't even see Deoxys anywhere. Kind of strange, but let's Computer Search for the Mag Mortar. We can actually play... My hand down to zero, attach the fire, put down another magmar, and magnetic draw for fresh four cards. And, ooh, I have an N. Now, my opponent only has four cards, was at three cards before knocking me out. And I feel like the only way I'm going to beat this deck is if he absolutely draws dead. So, instead of giving him a fresh hand of five cards, I think I'm just going to roll the dice here. And twin burst, get the knockout on the Kyurem. Because the only way he really gets a knockout is... Energy, Coerce Machine, Muscle Band, Laser, Verbank, which is five cards. Uh, or, you know, if uh, Deoxys is in there, it could be Energy, Coerce Machine, Muscle Band, Deoxys. But no, just going to be a laser and a heads. Oh, man. So Mag Mortar is going to take a quick nap here. I'm going to go with the Fiery Torch, and we'll see what we can do. Uh, I guess I got an Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of that N. And the fire energy, I could grab a mag mortar, but oh hey, Jirachi's actually here this time. So I could use Jirachi EX Stellar Guidance for a blacksmith and get some additional energy into play. Now I was kind of planning on doing the Juniper here, trying to get a switch, 
But there's only one switch in the deck, first of all. And second of all, even if I did get a switch, I would have to retreat and get the knockout. So I think it's better to just kind of um, stellar guidance for the blacksmith. And maybe Jirachi will divert some attention away from the Electivire as well. Uh, so if my opponent Frostbeers go after Jirachi, trying to get those two prizes. Uh, we're going to spread out the energy a little bit. Probably wasn't necessary, given my opponent will most likely knock out the active. But uh, I'll spread them out anyway. And then pass the turn because of the lame Hypnotoxic Laser. I will be glad when that rotates out. But we got at least another year of that, don't we? Okay. So, looks like my opponent gets the energy and the Frost Spear along with the Verbank City Gym. So, my poor Magmortar is down to 10 HP and is poisoned. Not a good combination, but I'm going to go with the Ultra Ball. And I probably should have discarded Juniper instead of Colrus. That was silly of me. Should have... Uh, I'm going to draw 7 regardless, so don't need to risk discarding more cards. But... Drew some good ones. We got the blacksmith. We can go ahead and do that. Uh, I, I, my natural instinct is just to twin burst and have the double knockout happen where Kiram goes down and so does Magmortar. But my opponent only has two cards, hasn't played a supporter. So I think I'm just going to retreat and again try to divert some attention away from the Electivire on the bench. You know, it's a juicy free prize there on that Magmortar. So if my opponent Frost Spears again, maybe the attention will go there. Uh, I do have the other blacksmith. We'll get, it on, get that on to the Magmar. And, oh, with that blacksmith, my opponent actually concedes the game. So no matter how hard I tried, I actually couldn't find a good game with this deck. Um, I just kept destroying my opponent as they drew nothing. So clearly there is some magic behind Magmortar and Electivire here. He just keeps bursting through all these Pokemon and doing tons of damage. It's very, very silly, actually. I don't know why this worked, but it did. It was fun. I would recommend trying it out. It is just so much fun to twin bursts for 180 damage. One of those things that feels like it should never work. So when it does, it's just awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will certainly have some more for you soon. I am Puka from the Top Cut, and I will see you guys next time.